Greetings fellow Octopathians and welcome back to Octopath Traveler and we're still in Wellspring and I'll be doing Theory on Chapter 3 today, or at least starting it. Uh, real quick before we get started, of course I added to my audio at every episode but if you hear some things in the background that don't sound right, it's because there's things going on in the house that are outside of my control, so I apologize if you hear any of that. So let's go. Uh, Therion, your search for the Emerald Stone brings you to Wellspring. You decide to sneak into the Black Market to see if the treasure you seek lies within. Continue the tale. A story so far. Therion set out to retrieve the three Dragon Stones at the behest of their owner, Cordelia Ravis. In Noble Court, he managed to take back the Ruby Stone from the scholar Orlik. Friends, brothers, partners, Therion once had someone just like that. Before he could be waylaid by sentiment, he made his way toward the Black Market in Wellspring, in hopes of getting his hands on the Emerald Dragonstone. <laughs> Black Market. Thanks, Heathcote. Gathering information gets easier every time. I'm sure he knows more about this place than your average town person. Speak with the popper. Got any wine on ye? Oh, so he wants some wine, huh? Fine, I'll just have to find some. Oh, wait, they're already marked. <laughs> uh, durr. You there, I need your wine. Give him the bottle of wine. Hey. Can I ask you something? <laughs> yeah, of course you can, stranger. What's on your mind? To tell you the truth. I'm looking for a certain stone. One stolen from a certain manner. Oh? Well, I'm certain you ain't the only one. I have my reasons. In that case... And the black market's where you want to be. Oh, really? And where is that? Now that I can't tell you. Thanks. Alright. Thanks anyway. Well... But I might know someone who can. If you're interested, that is. <laughs> I'm listening. The fact is... We got a nice tavern in these parts. Try ordering something that's not on the menu, and let the bartender do the rest. Thanks. I will. Thanks. <laughs> Anytime, stranger. Yeah, because that's the same tavern I just stole a bottle of wine from. <laughs> Travel banter. Something eating at you, professor? You're looking all furrow-browed today. The truth is... Truth be told, I do not care much for the black market. It's just a place for trading goods like any other. Ah, but the goods that flow through it pass from darkness to darkness, unseen by lawful men. What wonders, what priceless relics have been lost to the greater populace because of these shadowy deals. Relics such as those dragon stones you're chasing after, for example. It's not my job to question. When I need something, I go steal it. Simple. Gracious, you do not even try to soften the truth. It's almost admirable. Look, you use your mind to make your way in the world. I use my fingers. Indeed, I suppose. Then we are both suited to our respective pursuits. Hey. Can I get a drink? What can I get you? What can I get you? Hmm. Wine cut with ale and mead. I apologize. Afraid that's not on our menu. 
Wow. That's why I ordered it. I thought the mix might have the same color as a certain stone. As you wish. Then I'll get that for you right away. Here. Just as you ordered. <laughs> Note beneath the glass. Classic. Cave on the outskirts. How you like it? Thanks. It was just what I needed. Thanks. Now then. Time to make for the outskirts. Exit the town to the south, make for the southern Wellspring Sands. Yeah, I was wondering why there was another exit here in this town. Now I know. Two green markers this for some reason. Your end. <sighs> eh, not worth the time. Not worth the effort. Ooh. Therion chest. Open it. The unerring bracelet. What does that do? Accuracy plus 80. Well, the unerring stuff gives you... I don't think it was plus 80, but... That's just the series of... Bracelets and accessories. Wait a second. <laughs> Welcome, sir. We've been expecting you. Oh. I have you now. I suppose I'm a frequent customer. But I do so enjoy coming here, I can get my hands on otherwise unreachable objects. Indeed. We have a swap. We have a wide range of rare items available today. I hope you'll find the selection to your liking. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I will. Is this a masquerade or a market? Both the staff and the guests are wearing masks. It must separate insiders from outsiders. And it conceals your identity too. Convenient. Too bad I left my mask in my other pants. Put the stolen and pawned wares over there. Wait. Stop! Stop! Do it gently, else you'll break it. You'll break something, and you can't afford to replace these goods. Trust me. <laughs> that mask's not doing the barkeep any favors. And more guards here too. I'll have to find another way in. <laughs> I'm going back to the tavern. I trust you to finish the preparations. Now, then. now, how do I get that dragon stone back? I'll need a mask if I'm going to blend in, or I could bur borrow that list from the bartender. Hmm. hmm. Decisions. Decisions. Find a way to enter the black market so I can either go get the list from the tavern keep or I can steal a mask from someone. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking. If I steal a mask, whoever I stole it from will notice it's missing. Or if I knock them unconscious, they might come after me. But if I get the list and I'm someone new, that could be just as suspicious. So I don't think there's an easy cut way to do this. What do you have? 
attendant mask and a bunch of items. And then there's some other people up here. What are you? Aristocrat mask. Aristocrat mask. Two aristocrat masks and an attendant's mask. So do I want to look like a snobby jackass or do I want to look like I work the place? Well, if I look like I work the place, that could give me staff-like access to the goods. But if I could approach as a buyer if I'm an aristocrat. Eh, let me see. Oh, yeah, so it gives you access to the black market while concealing your identity. And then the attendant mask, does this one say anything? Oh, let me get these first. Grants access to the black market while concealing your identity. What's interesting is the attendant mask is harder to steal than the aristocrat mask is. And it's a little rarer. I'll pose as an employee. Oh. Yeah, I'll try to pose as one of the staff. No. I've played a merchant before. A guard shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> Excuse me, you there! way to the market it's this way ma'am I hope you enjoy the selection good day oh I will <laughs> hmm. now that that's out of the way I have to find that stone Find the dragon stone. Wait, so there's NPCs on here yet? Look, look on the radar. It turns red like there's monsters. Hmm. It says to go up there, but I wonder if there's any treasure if I go the other. Oh, there's a sign here. Oh, you probably have to trigger a cutscene to progress this part, don't you? You probably have to go further back in the cave that here. That treasure won't steal itself. <laughs> that treasure. Welcome, welcome. One moment, if you will, sir. I feel a gentleman like yourself could truly appreciate the beauty of this gem. It hails from the east, alongside a legend. They say this stone was once the emerald eye of a fierce dragon that soared through the skies. There it is. Now to nab it. Huh? And over that stone. No, I say. No! You have to pay first! <laughs> pay? Just who do you think we are? Get him! <laughs> they killed him! Run for your lives! <laughs> We've got the stone, let's go! They're headed for the back of the cave, but they won't get away. Follow the bandits. Yep, the sign's gone, so I have to chase the bandits. Of course they weren't going to let me get the stone that easy. Ooh, hello. 
summon the eagles! I'll not be defeated. Carmine Eagles. Hmm. Try some holy attack. Nope. Didn't think so. Well, you're still in the desert, so I'm still gonna presume that ice is the way to go here. Apparently not. Hmm. Out of my way. That's unfortunate. Sucks beer. Oberk level 55. There's a treasure chest. Yep, there it is. There's a chest up on that ledge. I wonder how you get to it. Uh, let me turn around here. Take a peek. Could be a cave off to the side, somewhere up in the black market. There we go. I'll make this quick. Eh, not worth it. Really, the experience way. is not worth it. First of two save points. By the looks of it, so I guess this isn't the boss. We should be safe here. Ain't nobody stupid enough to chase us this far. Not a hand this to the boss. What's the hurry? Who are you? Someone who needs that stone, so hand it over. Pretty please. <laughs> You're a fool for asking, and even more of a fool for coming here alone. The real fool is the one who leaves a trail back to his hideout. Sorry, cut that off. Wait, is that Darius? Is that you? Darius? Wait, I know you. <laughs> well, if it isn't Therion. I never thought I'd see you again, least of all here. Likewise. I'd heard rumors of another tea leaf after the Dragon Stones. I never thought it'd be you. I'm amazed you're still kicking. I see you found yourself some new partners in crime. I wouldn't call them partners. They work for me. Hmm. So, how has life been without me? Must be exciting, if that fool's bangle is any indication. <laughs> Could that be why you're after the Dragon Stones? Hmm. 
You've gotten sloppy, mate. Stealing used to be your only talent. It's the reason I kept you around for so long. Enough, Darius. I guess you're right. There's really no point in reminiscing. He's all yours, boys. Leave him to us, boss. You ready for this? Oh, please. Darius is henchman. Darius is lackey. Darius is lackey. So there's two different steals here I can get. Uh, zap. Thus, Worst henchman ever. Do you ever get tired of using people, Darius? Just like you used me. Ugh. Why, Darius? <laughs> it's simple. You remember that night we humiliated the Cianos, don't you? Yes. Of course I do. <laughs> Good. You told me they'd come for revenge, and they did. More specifically, they came to me, asking for a favor. If I did what they wanted, they said they'd find a nice high place for me in their midst. That's why you have to die. They want you gone, and so do I. What? What? <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but this was bound to happen, mate. Truth is... Just looking at it makes me Tom and Dick. You were blessed with such skill. I've never seen anyone as good as you. So when we met, I knew I needed you on me side. And you were so easily manipulated by cheap words. But then you started to doubt me. To question me. Curses. Why couldn't you stay in NAF? Everything would have been fine if you just did what I said. But you just had to prove yourself better, didn't you? Telling me to do it this way or do it that way. Well, I've had enough. So you're going to kill me and that's that. That's right. Damn right! Without you around, I could do things me own way. Partner. That's a bit drastic, don't you think, partner? Shut up! Don't call me partner! We're not equals. You're nothing but a stepping stool to me. You're worth less than the scum beneath me daisies, and I'll prove it. Ah! Farewell, Therion. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> this is no time to get sentimental. I better go after Darius. Oh, travel banter. Uh, Therion? That's my name. Is something the matter? No. Nothing that concerns you, at least. It's just that your expression is so uncharacteristically grim. You seem awfully interested in the state of my face. Is it that fascinating? It's not about your face nor my interest. You're in a mood and I simply want to know why. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's alright. Like I said, don't worry about it. After all, a frown suits you even less than it suits me. Well, in that case, I shall say no more. Good, because it really isn't important. It's my problem alone. I'm... I was gonna say, I'm gonna poke over here to the treasure chest. Light amulet. Alright. I'm gonna park it here for... I'm gonna stop here mid-dungeon for now. I'll pick this up in the next episode where presumably the boss shouldn't be too far away. So, with that, I will leave things here and continue Theory on Chapter 3 next time. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.